Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Easter Tuesday, March 29th. The scripture for this service, Psalm 114 and 1 Corinthians 15, verse 12 to 28. And please join me in singing verse 5 of Awake, Arise. O dead, arise, O friendless, stand by seraphim adored. O solitude again command, your host from heaven restored. Our help is in the name of God Most High the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word in Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia! When Israel went out of Egypt, Judah was God's sanctuary. Alleluia! Psalm 114, and please recite it with me. Alleluia! When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel from an alien people. Judah was God's sanctuary, and Israel was God's dominion. The sea saw and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains skipped like rams, and the little hills like lambs. Why, O oh sea, did you flee? Why, Jordan, were you driven back? Why, mountains, that you skipped like rams, and you little hills like lambs? Tremble, earth, at the presence of God Most High, at the presence of the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, which turned the rock into a pool and the flint into a fountain of waters. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. When Israel went out of Egypt, Judah was God's sanctuary. Alleluia. A reading from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 15, beginning at verse 12. Now, if Christ is proclaimed as raised from the dead, how can some of you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ has not been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then our proclamation has been in vain, and your faith has been in vain. We are even found to be misrepresenting God because we testified of God that he raised Christ, whom he did not raise if it is true that the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, then Christ has not been raised. If Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile and you are still in your sins. Then those who have died in Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are all people most to be pitied. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have died. For since death came through a human being, the resurrection of the dead has also come through a human being. For as all die in Adam, so all will be made alive in Christ. But each in his own order. Christ, the first fruits, then at his coming, those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end. Then he hands over the kingdom to God the Father. 
after he has destroyed every ruler and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. For God has put all things in subjection under his feet. But when it says all things are put in subjection, it is plain that this does not include the one who put all things in subjection under him. When all things are subjected to him, then the Son himself will also be subjected to the one who put all things in subjection under him, so that God may be all in all. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Almighty God, thank you for setting us free. We join all the earth in singing your praise day after day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen.